Hello guys and welcome back to episode 2 of Project Zomboid with me, Pug Gaming. So if you recall, episode 1 was pretty much just getting used to controls, looting our starting building in terms of food, weapons, etc. And we now find ourselves in a situation where we need to try and find some more, more weapons, more food, more survival stuff. So we're going to go on the little looting activity here to the house opposite us. So once we're through the window, let's start having a look around. So we've got some pillows, sheets, definitely useful to have sheets. You can use them to either bandage yourself up or more important, cover up the windows as we discussed in the last episode. Got a suitcase here that will help us. We already have a bag though, so not really necessary. What else have we got through here? Da, da, da. Not much really of much use there. And we've got a zombie right in this corner here, so let's just get this out of the way. Quite an easy one. Nothing on him of any use. Let's have a look at the kitchen. So we got all these seeds. So future in the future what we're looking to do is we're going to hopefully get to a point where our carpentry level is fairly high and we can build our own little um, sort of base and then at one point, well further down the line in the game obviously the food will disappear, there won't be anything around so we're going to have to start making our own community so having these seeds is going to be the next step and obviously for us we need to get the next step of our actual um, player's abilities, so we need to be able to farm as well so as I say, it's a very long, long-winded game in the sense of you need to upgrade all your carpentry first before you can actually build your own base. And then you've got to learn how to um, farm as well and then cook and so on and so forth. So the game itself is pretty much uncompletable in my eyes because the horde of zombies will get stronger and stronger as you play. So in terms of that you'll do very well to upgrade all of them and still stay alive. But still Let's get some more of the food. And an interesting, um, or oh, an obviously interesting point to make here is make sure you eat all of the fresh food first before you move on to the cans, because obviously cans will last much, much longer than fresh food itself. All right, so let's check out some of the other rooms. Um, so we've got a barricaded door here, so let us guess there's going to be something behind here that we don't really want to see. That's first, oh, so we picked up a corpse. I didn't know you could do that. So you can actually pick up the corpses. So let's try and unbarricade the door. First, let's check out this room. Not much in there. And as you can see, I'm really slowed down now, carrying a lot, a lot of stuff. So let's just get back to our current safe house and we'll make sure we don't get seen by well stealthily walking back to our doors okay let's shut the door behind us And let's put some of this stuff into the container here. Into the wooden crate, crate that does hold a lot, a lot, a lot of loot. Got a suitcase here as well, we'll put that down there. So if you've run out, I mean obviously once you've got the carpentry level you can start building yourself shelves and crates etc. But when you haven't, you can just pick up things like cardboard boxes for example. Um, any container will be 
able to be put on the floor and used as a storage capacity so that makes life a little bit easier um, obviously this house in particular isn't very big so in terms of our current storage locations we don't really have a lot unfortunately so let's just put all the food away in the cupboards and obviously make sure you put the fresh foods into the fridge as they will not last as long as if you put them into a cupboard which obviously makes sense okay so that's most of the food away as you can see I haven't got a huge amount of cupboard space left but certainly enough food here to last us a little while and weapons like the butter knife are kind of pointless there's no point in really having those to be honest the kitchen knife yes that's a good one shot what well, one hit kill which is good um, but I'll try and avoid the lesser weapons as it's just a waste of um, capacity and time really but I'll tell you what this game itself I've watched a few videos like I said few not no tutorials as such I've been watching people stream it to be honest on, on Twitch and it's a game that really you really need to get into and you've got to learn for yourself so many people can tell you things uh, give you examples and that but everyone can play this game in such a different way and different people can be successful in, in many different ways really so there's no real proper way of playing this other than surviving <laughs> which is all the the whole point of the game in general so that's um an interesting way to to look at the game itself and there is a lot of time spent in the inventory and sorting things out like i'm doing here so that's why i'm not too sure how well this will go down in youtube video formats obviously city skylines a lot can be done on those videos of mine and it's fairly all interesting but when you're playing a game such as this you can't really time lapse because you can't see what's going on it's a story that happens sort of minute by minute or in fact second by second when you're playing the game so very different type of game to YouTube and hopefully it's going okay so we've got all the curtains up now let's make sure they're all closed because it's getting to that point of the day where we might need to have some sleep and just make sure that we're not going to lose our position here with zombies seeing us so big tip make sure you have curtains up on all windows and any doors as well you need to make sure you got some on those as well so let's put some of these other items we need to try and basically lose some of our weight so our next loot run we're not already piled down in weight form to, uh, for weight terms what else have we got in here? Let's get rid of that bush. Giggity. And then we can. Okay, we must have run out of sheets. Yeah, run out of sheets. So we need to try and do something to this window some point close these curtains and what else have we got in here do we have any sheets in here no there we go got some sheets there so let's grab one of those oh got a zombie in how on earth did you get in? Oh, it's through this window, so we need to barricade this up pretty damn quick. So that's the one thing as well, a tip I'll give you, which is fairly obvious, but if you do have a breach, make sure you find out where they came from and you, well, do your very best to protect yourself from that. So need to cover up this door as well because that's a glass door where they can quite easily see you. Okay, so mm. 
some random twigs in the toilet, which is interesting. So what we need to do here, put these sleeping tablets in. Okay, we've got no more room in there. So where's our sheets? Okay. So a quick look around. Drop a few things here. These corpses can be left outside as a sign of, well, destruction. Zombies keep away. Because this is what will happen to you. Not that they can think in any way, but still, for our benefit, we'll keep it outside. So, weight wise, we're back normal. Well, as best we can. We're a little bit over, but not enough to slow us down. Let's see what else we can move across. All these empty boxes we can get rid of. Got a baseball bat, we've got a butter knife. Not the best one to have, but because we're quite low on weapons, we'll just keep it in there just for now. Got a knife. Actually, we got the knife as well. Water bottles as well. Remember, they will be very useful when you're out looting. So we'll keep that in our backpack. You got quite a few weapons, didn't realise that. Got video game as well. Always a bonus. Okay. So let's make our way back over into the bathroom. Let's get a drink from the sink. sure you close the doors behind you for no well breaches that will scare you so let's do a bit of eating stroke cooking got chicken in our inventory let's turn on the oven now, cooking is all a little bit new to me. So you have to basically use it as a container and put in what you want to cook. So in goes the chicken. And you need to leave that for a little while now whilst it cooks itself. And just remember that sometimes it does take a little bit of time um, to actually cook. It's, once it's red, I believe it means it's doing something. Okay, guys, so I need to rethink how I do the videos for Zomboid, as I can do hours and hours of me looting, doing things, etc. But I don't think it's going to be as enjoyable for you guys as a YouTube video. So... What I'm thinking is I'm going to start completely again from the beginning and I'm going to sort of run it through as a little tutorial stroke um, missionary video I guess. So what I mean by that is we'll talk through the first part of starting the game up. We'll pretty much treat well treat it like we're both, we're all idiots. <laughs> I may be, not saying you guys are, but we're going to treat it as a sort of very dumbed down beginner version of the game. And we can walk through exactly what needs to be, not needs to be done, but what's vital to be done early stage of the game. And as we build up, we can also share some tips and ideas. And as I said as well, as you, if you've read some of the comments in my last episode one video, I'm looking at maybe doing a server um, for multiplayer. So anyone in the chat or watching this video who is a owner of Project Zomboid and would like to take part in a multiplayer um, game, I would be very, very welcome to hearing you. So in the comments below, by all means, please let me know if you are interested. 
we can certainly have a look then at setting something up and it will look it'll be a, more, a lot more enjoyable it may not be a YouTube based video if we do a multiplayer but I will certainly be streaming it on my Twitch channel so we're gonna wrap this up here today apologies that there's not been too much movement and that's why I'm rethinking how we do the project Zomboid YouTube videos I think we need to scale it down to shorter videos with a lot more sort of activity I know there's gonna be a lot of videos well sorry a lot of gameplay like this with simple loot and etc but what I'll end up doing I think is we'll do that off camera and pretty much show you the highlights of each time I play so guys any other ideas on how you think would be a better way of doing the project Zomboid videos by all means let me know welcome to hear all of your feedback other than that guys as always thank you very much for watching and I will see you again soon all the best